because that, because that, that that has been our yearning yeah. for you know that we want a, you know somebody that will be that, that can run a government and uh, conduct an election that will be free and fair. Election. And because of that June 14, June you know July 14 election, we saw what happened. It was with very his own with his own election coming back second term, you know second turning. We saw that it was free and fair. Free of violence. There was no fight, there was no gunshot, not even one bullet shot, you know, released that day. It was free and fair. Everybody went over, you know, about their business, cast their vote. Those of those of us who were, you know, party leaders who were there to make sure that according to what he said, defend your vote. We were there to defend the vote for him. We were there. We defended the vote and uh, he won. So we were expecting that at this time. He would, you know, the man would reciprocate. He would show, he would show us love. A reputation that, of that. Yes, that, that he would show us love. He would show us love that we have shown him. Yeah. Instead of showing right. us love that we gave him, he now show us, show us hatred. Yeah. He no. paid us with ingratitude. Yeah. He's supposed to be grateful to the electorate the for believing in him. For believing in him. And his slogan: One yes. man, one vote. Just one man, one fair play. Yeah. That's 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 the only thing he has done that people are upset about. People are not happy about it because I personally am not happy about it. We spend our money. And two, the first time in the history of Nigeria whereby candidates pay money to contest election. I feel bad. I question that. Oshun Mole should tell us if he paid IMEC when he was contesting election. Can candidates paid. Nobody has ever paid money to contest election. When is the election is supposed to be funded by the government? You understand? There should be there's a location. There's a location for the election. Is this the first time in the history of Nigeria? In, in the history of Nigeria, somebody's paying. I've been playing politics in Nigeria since 1978. Since 1978, I've been playing politics. I've been in politics. This is the first time candidates have to pay as not INEC. Because nobody pay INEC. Candidates have to pay EDSEC and those state independent uh, electoral commission to contest. What happened? What happened to those? Not only that, they also went further to put a benchmark and say, hey, this is how much you have to pay in taxes before you can contest. I've never seen where you have a flat rate tax in the whole world. Because our fingers are not equal. You cannot ask, you cannot ask a permanent secretary to pay the same tax as a cleaner. So you're asking somebody going for a, 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 a counselor to pay 466000 in tax. Somebody going for chairman to pay 750000 in, in tax. Whereby the man going for counselor has never worked, probably just finished from uh, school or retired, is not making that much money. Or it's a student that just graduated, finished NYC, just served the nation, but he wants to contest. He has not worked before. You are not saying he must pay. Okay. That is, now, you know, uh, that is what I call political mutiny. Okay. He, has, you know, he has made these people, many, many people refuse to contest because they don't have money. I speak for my party.